Today we will be pulling off hopefully two missions in one with the use of this awesome space plane. And we'll be showing the building of the space plane, also we'll be showing a little bit of the testing of the plane or the space plane, call it whatever you want. Then we will be setting it on top of the booster and then finally after building and connecting we will be sending it to the space. Yes, it's gonna be awesome. So stick around and we're gonna be doing two missions, hopefully. The first mission should be Kerbin Wide Tour Capy Rock. Yes, uh, the idea is that we go there and collect some science. And are there fuel stations in space? Orbit Kerbin with a Methalox tank with a docking port. Because why shouldn't be we be able to do both? All right, so we start our story with by designing a plane and we're gonna be designing a plane that can go to space. Yes. Hence the space plane. All right, so let's take it like this. We're gonna be making this guy. Then I want to have ex atmospheric experiments because I do want to return science, yes. And as you noticed, we are sticking with the ugly paint scheme. Don't worry, I'm gonna correct it as you saw later on. But yeah, this plane is gonna be awesome. I'm just kind of thinking, putting planes to space? Yeah, that's what I wanna do these in this episode. This is gonna be nice. So, uh, cockpit, and we have a requirement. We need to have a lander can for the Capy Rock mission. I have put two atmospheric engines. Let's put two of the wings. Okay, I cannot attach wings to this component. Let's swap them then. There we go. We do have a Kerbin Jr., you know, the Science Jr. We do have also the uh, reaction wheels. We have a cockpit and we have the lander can because of the <laughs> funny requirement. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's check. Center of mass, center of lift. Looks good so far. Let's put in the tails. Okay, the tails are a little bit weird, to be honest. Uh, let's put like these guys. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, just making sure to disable the pitch and roll on the tails and the yaw on the wings so that the control of the plane is much easier. That being said, we need to make sure that center of lift, center of mass are aligned. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it later on. Let's put in the forward flaps. I need to trim them because they are too big at the moment. They need to be smaller and they need to be moved uh, slightly to the back. Okay, but I think this the center of lift will update once we move the craft. So there we go. This looks pretty nice, if I dare say so myself. Uh, let's put in the landing gear. We are going to be putting this landing gear and then two others. I should be putting them on the wings, though. Okay, that doesn't look good. That's a, that's a given. But, um, yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to need to sink down the... I'll need to sink down the wings. Yes, that's what they're called. Wings. Apparently, they give lift and they make the plane what it is. So let me just for quickly turn it around, make sure that they're in the correct spot. Okay, and then we're going to be lowering the wings. So lowering the wings just to make sure that these two things are aligned. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. Then we're going to raise the landing gear to this guy. So yeah, see, that's how our planes are made. Yes, and uh, okay, let's now change the color scheme. Let's do... A base will be red, you know, like real red. Okay, not this uh, red. I want it, yeah, blazing red. It's a Ferrari red that I want. And then I want to have it orangey, you know, sporty color. Okay, that looks cool. Let's launch it. Um, launch? Well, you know, ground forks, sometimes you should be aware that the atmospheric engines do require atmosphere to operate because I forgot the freaking intakes. And uh, yeah, I do have atmospheric science experiment, but that doesn't count as an intake now, does it? And I only have this one. Okay, that would make this little guy look like MiG-15. Okay, well, that's not the thing that I wanted to make. So, <clears throat> and we also, this needs to operate in space. So, I think we're gonna do a radical change. Meaning, bye-bye atmospheric engines, hello terriers. Yeah, okay, where's my methalox? Thanks. Okay, two of them, good. Methalox. Okay, terriers, yes. Let's turn this thing back. And how do, how are we looking now? Okay, center of mass, center of lift. Good enough. Let's test this. See? It doesn't have a great amount of delta V, but it should be enough. So let's see. Okay, see? Launching it makes it almost worth it. It could launch. It could be a bit more stable. It does tend to flippity flip flip. Looks like, a, you know, a pigeon. 
but um, yeah, it works. All right, let's buzz the tower. What do you say, Val? Shall we buzz the tower? Yeah, she's happy. Look at her go. Amazing. She loves the new toy that I have been lovingly building. Okay, I mean, I don't need to test all of the components, but let's switch to chase view a little bit. I would really like to see if this thing can land as well. Because that's kind of a purpose of the plane, not just to go up, but to go down as well. So let's see if this thing can land, and if it can land, then I'm happy and we're gonna be continue. Oh, look at, there's moon in the background. I do love this approach, it looks really amazing. Okay, sorry, playing with the camera, but that, that's the angle that I want. 27 left, cleared for landing. Okay, Valentina, are you good? Okay, there we go, and... Oh, 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 landing. Well, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Good. That makes this space plane viable in my opinion. So, now we're gonna be putting the decoupler. Let's put this bad boy. Okay, look at this. This works now in KSP2. Previously this was almost impossible in KSP1 to put dual decouplers and then on top of it put just this little bad boy. All right, let's put in the solar panels because we do want this craft to have electricity. We do want some electric charge. Otherwise, it won't be able to send science experiments, which we really need. And so the idea is that we launch this as a space plane. We launch it on a suborbital or orbital trajectory. And then together with the Rocomax fuel tank, the big kahuna that's supposed to be... Uh, staying in the orbit for the second contract so now we are building that part it's a probe core with antenna reaction wheels let's put some antennas as well some solar panels and after the solar panels we have batteries good maybe science experiments let's put in adapter then we need this big Rocomac tanks. This is a requirement from the contract. Let's put four docking ports. Yeah, because we can, because it's gonna be an orbital refuel depot. What can I tell you? Why not? So yeah, it's a mini space station that's gonna be around Kerbin. Awesome. So there we go. Just making sure that my thrust to weight and Delta V readouts are good enough. I guess we'll have plenty of that. Let's put the aerodynamic decouplers. Oh, these are gonna look mighty cool. Let's put with the Clydales. Oh, no. Overpowered. I think these ones look better. Okay, two of them. Can I go with four? I think with four. Oh, look at that. That's the right thing right there. I think it looks awesome. Okay, four fins. So we can control this on ascent. Yeah, there we go. I believe that actually looks cool. Yep, that looks cool. Okay, now we have the <coughs> we have the struts. I always put struts, although technically I have never yet encountered that I really needed them. Then I really am struggling to position this craft onto the launch pad. Like really low. I don't like it to be off center and all that jazz. Okay, planes look okay. I think so. Let's go and launch this bad boy. Save the craft and we're gonna be putting Jean Bart Kerman to be in the Peregrine. And I think, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, right. So, there we go. And for the launch, Valentina managed to snuck in. How? Don't ask me, I have no idea. Let's go for the launch. There we go. And boosters! Right, with that thing being said, this craft is going upwards. Look at it, how beautiful it goes. Oh, that's just awesome. <clears throat> I need to get it on a southerly trajectory, so I'm gonna be really careful to get it and nudge it slowly to the south, but only after the boosters decouple. And whoa, whoa! Okay. Did I manage to keep control? Yes, I did. Good thing that we are out of the atmosphere so we don't get the aerodynamic drag and those SAS units are keeping things in place. Good. Uh, by the way, I'm going on a 135 degree angle because this was gonna get us to Cappy Rock eventually, hopefully. So that's kind of my excuse. I'm gonna go roll with it, so bear with me, guys. 
We are gonna be thrusting a little bit. There we go. Look at that. 1,763. We have plenty of Delta V. We're gonna be circularizing around that and hopefully that will remain a little bit of the fuel inside for the orbital fuel farm, which will be on the very inclined orbit, but hey, you know, beggars can be choosers. So we're gonna be placing that one here. 414 looks, but look at this. This craft looks mighty cool and it's gonna be burning in four, three, two, one, and ignition. Look at that. Gene bar it's amazing picture and i'm loving every second of it and yeah look at it orange and sorry red and yellow and it's not even mcdonald's ha <laughs> who could tell uh, wait 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 a second red and yellow and i'm loving it oh my god i've launched the mcdonald's craft okay well whatever now <clears throat> the goal is are there fuel station in space check and check we have successfully launched the fuel station but i just noticed that it was on the dark side so i went to the i went to the tracking station and i did pull a couple of rotations to make sure that the cappy rock is on the light side after all we do want to be going in there on the light side so we have decoupled there we go there is our space plane look at it and it's awesome by the way guys i heard that uh, there are problems with the re-entry however i've heard that the solution according to i think it was trigger au or nerty i'm not sure that you should make thicker wings so that the wings don't burn up so shadow zone you know eat your heart out i'm gonna try this bad boy and let's see if it works yeah <clears throat> well i don't want to be saying anything too soon after all you never know what can happen anyway so there we go. I just want to correct my orbital inclination and there we go. A game saved is a game earned. So let's go with this. Start burn in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and ignition. A total of 313. That's just a tiny portion of our Delta V. And remember, this thing is not a flyer. This thing is a glider. So we have to be really careful not to consume too much and that once we come to the re-entry we should be planning that we can just fly the thing all the way directly to the Capy Rock and hopefully land, land in the vicinity and perform orbital observations or actually crew observations. Maybe I can even make it while flying, who knows, and then land on a nice softy surface. There we go, we are approaching Kerbin, game on pause. And while we're doing it, we might as well do, you know, the atmospheric experiment, so that looks cool. Okay, let's be very gentle, so far so good. Yeah, okay, and we will be arriving in the good place. Gene Bart, you look awesome, buddy. Alright, let's go and continue, see how it goes. So far so good, we are at 54 kilometers above Kerbin. I'm gonna pitch slightly up just to make sure that I introduce a little bit of extra drag and lift so that we do really come really, really close. And yeah, it's Kerb Wide Tour, Cappy Rock. Launch a vessel with the lander can, can perform crew observation at Cappy Rock. Yeah, I thought it would be really cool to do this. Whether or not it will work, I am certainly hoping... Oh, 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 what, 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 wait? Come on! Okay, well... Well, this is not going that fast, come on. Oh, 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 sorry, Valentina. Okay, now let's do the flippity flip flip. Jinbart, I am trusting you that you will be able to get there and complete the mission, so don't let me down. And I just noticed one horrible thing. He doesn't have a parachute. Okay, let's see if we can use the aerodynamic surfaces that we can arrive. We're still going towards our destination, which is good. Come on. Okay, we're going, we're going. Let's use the flippity flip flip part of this craft and hopefully get there. Okay, come on. <coughs> drag your feet, drag your feet. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well, at least we got the Ardor fuel stations in space, guys. Sorry about that, well, you cannot win them all, and I guess, rest in peace, Valentina, Kerman. But you have sacrificed yourselves for a measly 35 science, what can you do? Once being said, let's do a look at the bloopers. When I was launching this, I was immediately going for the 135, and... 
I was thinking to immediately go southwards and then this happened and I couldn't control the dive. But that's a little bit blooper and I'll see you guys in the next episode.